does God loves us so much. Because he created us. That's why he loves us so very, very much. We are his children and he wants us to want to love him back. What's wrong with that? First John 4, 8. First John 4, 16 tells you. Why does God give us free will? He gives us free will so we can choose either the world or eternal life. He's a spirit. He wants us to come back to him and live and be happy with him. Free from evil. There's so much trouble on the world. It makes me want to cry. Stop a tear. Here it goes. Freedom is a gift from God and must be rooted. You must be rooted in, the, in God. If we want to live our life outside of God, we in fact become slaves of sin and darkness. Don't a lot of crime happens in the dark? We don't want to be a slave to darkness. When the freedom is chose to be, if you, with the freedom to choose, to be righteous, God changes our nature to free us from being slaves to sin and endowing us with the freedom to choose to be righteous and not losing sight of our purpose and meaning. Mm-hmm. Your life really does matter. So many people think their life don't, but it really does. Every moment of it. You have to take your life seriously because we, as human beings in this flesh body, we do not live long. Before you know it, you're 65 years old. If you continue to live and no one takes your life from you, we don't live long. Does our free will stops after death? Hmm? Can I say that one again? Does our free will stops after death? Yes, only our flesh body, only in our flesh body does free will, it ends after death. Let me say this, make be clear. From the cradle to the grave, after we get covered up in the mother's womb, we are healthy human beings, and I'm talking to them. From the cradle to the grave, your life matters. Whatever you choose, God is there watching and there knocking at your door to help you in every way possible. You have the best possible life that you can live. I said those on the other episodes, didn't I? He's not the devil. Does our free will stop after death? In the flesh body, it does. While you're in the flesh body, you have free will. 
after that, then you take your works with you to your Heavenly Father. I have a footage that you can look at that someone, March the 31st, we had a terrible tornado here in the state of Arkansas, Little Rock. And I don't know what city that was, but someone was photo filming from their phone an accident and something drawn them to look up at the clouds and they seen images up there. Take a look. Does God watch over humans from the cradle to the grave? Yes. He's a spirit in another dimension. Just like negative spirits can attack you, the God of love and all the angels could protect you from them. It says in the book of Job that the devil, Lucifer, cannot do anything without God's permission. God has the whole world, and uh, and Satan can't do nothing without God's uh, approval. And say, and God came to Satan. Satan was came up to God, and uh, along with other angels, and uh, God asked him, Joe, Satan. What have you been doing? And Satan says, I've been all around the planet causing problems. And then God says, well, have you, uh, once you consider my, my faithful servant, Job, he's very faithful and he loves me very much. Test him. And Satan says, well, you got a hedge around him. You have protected four walls. All of the angels protected him. I can't get next to him. Let your walls down. And God said, so be it. I let the walls down. You could do whatever you want, but do not take his life. The book of Job, chapter 1, 6 through 12, says, to let you know that God, there's nothing Satan can do. God created Satan, but he had pride, and he turned and persuaded a third to follow him. God needed to put, and putting a stop to that. So from the cradle to the grave, we have free will, and God is watching everything, Proverbs 15 and 3 reads, again, the eyes of the Lord are watching every place, the evil and the good. God wants his children to come back to him, having their senses exercised, to discern both good and evil. When you apparently endure the study and study his word, you obtain the promises of the blessings in your life. Within or behind the veil is Jesus Christ. You must be anchored in God's word and have a working knowledge of his overall plan to enter the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Why? Because his spirit wants us to believe that he's able to help us in, in any given moment. Hebrews 5, 14, King James Version. Hello, I encourage you guys to please comment below like 
and subscribe. And don't forget to press that notification button. So you may be notified every time we upload. <music>